Did you know that over 30 million coins are minted every day in the United States alone? That's a lot of clinking change. The process of coin minting or creating these shiny tokens of trade is an art form as old as civilization itself. It's a fascinating blend of history, craftsmanship, and technology. From the earliest hand-stamped coins of ancient empires to the high-speed presses of today's mints, this process has always been central to our economies and societies. Now, let's unravel the mystery behind this fascinating process. Everything starts with an idea, a concept. The design phase of coin minting is where inspiration meets artistry. Artists, brimming with creativity, craft intricate designs that often reflect a country's culture, history, or venerated figures. From the majestic American bald eagle to the iconic maple leaf of Canada, these designs tell a story, making every coin a piece of art in your pocket. But it's not just about aesthetics. A coin's design needs to be practical too. It must be intricate enough to deter counterfeiters, yet simple enough to be struck onto a small metal disc. That's where the real challenge lies. And mind you, not every design makes the cut. Each design goes through a rigorous approval process. It's scrutinized for its artistic merit, historical accuracy, and cultural relevance. And only when it ticks all the boxes does it get the green light. Once approved, these designs are transformed into a physical reality. And that's when the real magic begins. Now we move from design to the actual creation of the coins. This phase starts with the preparation of the metal. The choice of metal or alloy isn't random, it greatly impacts the durability, weight and look of the final product. Commonly used metals include copper, nickel and zinc, while alloys often incorporate silver or gold. The metal is heated until it's molten, then poured into molds to create coin blanks, also known as planches. Once the blanks cool down they are washed and polished to a high shine. This process ensures they are perfectly clean and ready for the next phase, striking. Striking is where all the magic happens, it's where the beautiful designs created during the design phase are transferred onto the coin blanks. This is done using two dies which are essentially hardened steel rods engraved with the coin's design. One die features the obverse design, which is the head's side of the coin, and the other die carries the reverse design, or the tail's side. The coin blank is placed between these two dies in a machine called a coining press. With a force that can reach up to several tons, the press strikes the dies together, imprinting the designs onto the blank. This process is so powerful that it not only transfers the design, but also hardens the metal, increasing the coin's durability. It's fascinating to think about the level of precision required in this process. Each design element, each letter, and each number has to be perfectly aligned and struck with just the right amount of force. Too little pressure, and the design won't be clear. Too much, and the coin could be deformed. Even the edge of the coin, often overlooked, gets its due during striking. Some coins have smooth edges, while others have reeded or serrated edges. This isn't just for aesthetics, it's a security feature that helps prevent counterfeiting. The striking process brings the artist's vision to life in a tangible form. The end result is a coin, a small piece of art that we use every day, often without giving a second thought to the intricate process behind its creation. Once the coins are minted, they aren't quite ready for circulation yet. After the striking phase, each coin undergoes a meticulous quality control process. This phase is crucial in ensuring that every coin that leaves the mint is of the highest standard. So what does this process entail? Well, each coin is inspected to ensure that it meets the precise criteria set out for its design and dimensions. This includes everything from the coin's diameter and thickness, to the details of its design. Any coin that doesn't meet these stringent requirements is rejected and remelted, ensuring that only the best coins make it into circulation. But it's not just about aesthetics and accuracy. Coins also need to be secure. In our modern world, counterfeiting is a real concern. To combat this, mints incorporate various security features into their coins. These features are designed to be difficult to replicate, helping to keep our money safe and secure. One common security feature is the use of microprinting. This involves etching tiny text onto the coin that's difficult to see with the naked eye. This text is incredibly hard to duplicate without the right equipment, making it a formidable barrier against counterfeiting. Another feature you might have noticed is the special textures or patterns on a coin. These aren't just for show. They're another line of defense against counterfeiters. These textures are often unique to each coin and are created using special minting techniques. Replicating these textures accurately is a tall order for any would-be counterfeiter. Some coins even incorporate holograms into their designs. 
These holograms can display different images or patterns when viewed from different angles. This adds another layer of complexity to the coin's design, making it even more secure. Incorporating these security features into a coin's design is a delicate balancing act. On one hand the coin needs to be secure, on the other, it needs to be easily recognizable and usable by the general public. This is why the quality control process is so vital. These steps ensure that each coin is of the highest quality and secure from counterfeiting. So the next time you hold a coin, take a moment to appreciate the intricate details and security features that have been painstakingly incorporated into its design. Now for those of you who are coin collectors, or numismatists as they're formally known, here are some tips. Firstly, let's talk about rarity. It's the scarcity factor that often drives a coin's value. Coins that have had a limited mintage, or those from years when fewer coins were produced, can be more valuable than others. Next, condition matters. Coins in mint or near-mint condition, free from scratches, stains, or signs of wear, are typically more sought after. But don't rush off to polish your coins. Cleaning can actually damage the coin and reduce its value. Then, there's the importance of mint marks. These tiny letters found on many coins can tell you where a coin was minted. Some mint locations are more rare than others, which can add to a coin's value. Don't forget about the age. While it's true that older coins can be more valuable, age alone doesn't guarantee value. It's a combination of age, rarity, condition, and demand that determines a coin's worth. Lastly, always do your research. The more you know about the coins you're collecting, the better. Understand the history, the minting process, the designer, and any unique features. This knowledge can greatly enhance your coin collecting experience and help you make wise additions to your collection. Keep these tips in mind as you delve into the fascinating world of coin collecting. Remember, the joy of coin collecting lies not just in the value of the coins but in the stories they tell and the history they hold. Happy collecting! Scene Script Coin minting isn't exclusive to any one country, it's a global phenomenon with diverse techniques and traditions. Across the globe each nation has its own unique approach to minting coins, often reflecting their distinct culture and history. Let's embark on a swift journey around the world to understand these fascinating differences. In the United States, the US Mint uses a high-speed coining press to produce up to 750 coins per minute. These coins often feature the portraits of presidents, national symbols or historical events. Journeying over to Europe, the Royal Mint in the United Kingdom has a history spanning over a thousand years. British coins often showcase the reigning monarch, and their coinage process involves a series of stages including blanking, annealing, and striking. Let's hop over to the east, to China, a country with a rich, numismatic history. The China Banknote Printing and Minting Corporation utilizes state-of-the-art technology for coin production. Chinese coins often feature mythical creatures like the dragon, symbolizing power, strength, and good luck. Down under in Australia, the Royal Australian Mint is known for its innovative coin designs, often featuring native animals and commemorating significant events. They even introduced a triangular coin in 2020 to mark the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II. Finally, in South Africa, the South African Mint strikes coins with designs that reflect the country's diverse flora, fauna, and cultural heritage. Notably, they mint the Krugerrand, one of the world's most famous gold bullion coins. These variations in minting techniques and traditions across different countries are testament to the rich cultural diversity of our world. Each coin is a unique blend of art, technology and history, reflecting the values and identity of the nation it represents. So the next time you hold a coin, remember that it's a small piece of art, history and technology, all in your hand. So, there you have it. The fascinating journey of a coin from concept to circulation. We've uncovered the meticulous steps of the minting process, starting with the creative design phase where artists bring a coin's face to life. Then, we delved into the metal preparation and striking, where raw materials are transformed into tangible tokens of trade. We also looked at the crucial quality control and innovative security features that ensure each coin's authenticity and durability. For the numismatists among us, we shared some insider tips for coin collecting. And to round off our adventure we ventured globally, exploring diverse minting techniques and traditions around the world. Coins are more than just currency. They're miniature works of art, historical documents and testaments to technological advancement. The next time you have a handful of coins, remember the intricate process that went into creating each one.